Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 99. Let me turn my headphones down here. Of Let's Play the Spiderweb Software 2022 Instant Classic CRPG Queen's Wish 2, The Tormentor. We are in Fort Cariarius. Let's go. <laughs> All right, and we're about to open the treasure. After I light a smoke here, that uh, was guarded by Salone, a, com a commander of the rebels that tried to kill Sutter and I and are causing all this problem, the raiders. Boom, a Cobor trophy. 20% bleed risk, 10% critical chance. Very nice. Six copper bits, 39 silver coins, and three gold goblets. I think this area is done. All right, we are done with Fort Cariaris. Let's get out of here. And let's head to... You know what? We should probably head to Fort Meadow 4. How much? We have one quicksilver, by the way. We could put a distillery somewhere, but I would rather save for an apothecary. Let's go ahead and... Oh, no, I don't want to go to Fort Metal 4 yet. My bad. Let me... Hold on, guys. Let's grab this Cobor trophy. Let's head to... Um report on the petition which is going to be Master Ara Chalcum you received your petition from the Ross of the Lodaga Ross of Luita uh, I don't really know who to report to I guess go to Etze and where was it? Up here? I don't really remember the layout too well. Um, oh, up here? That does not seem like a chamber he would be in. Ah, Ari Chalcum. Rasa Luita sent me to help you. I've been to Fort Cariaris and found this. Show the staff. You actually succeed in getting a reaction from the master. His eyebrows raise slightly. And he leans forward. A staff, an artifact captured from the raiders. Tell me more. It seemed to control the cob beasts. I had not thought you would learn something useful. You did. This staff, I can sense power. I can't properly analyze it, but we have resources. Who can I talk to? This is work for the Erudico. They have a tower in the corner of town. Talk to Irid Murwa. She is my guide in these matters. He is my guide in these matters. Okay. Rudico. Uh, where were they? Right here. What was there? Rudico Tower. Um, I don't recall this one too much. Is it down here? Yes. Okay. How can you provide help to me? Yes, I'm here to hunt the raiders. I took this staff from a rebel in Fort Cariaris. You suddenly have his full attention. The brutes begin to shift around as his concentration weakens. Yes, can you sense it? It still has power. It can be used. I can help. Give it to me. Give it. He takes the staff, then he waves a hand. The brutes suddenly begin to dissolve. Without another word, he walks to the other end of the room. He sets the staff on a table and begins muttering spells. Only oh, got poison. What did you do to my staff? He goes to the table, gets the staff, and hands it back to you. It seems exactly the same. The magic is weaker, but easier to access. Find a cob beast controlled. Wave the staff. You can disrupt the influence. Not control, just disruption. Might be useful. 
How did you change the staff? It is a simple device. Runs direct flow of energy. A careful flow. Calms the Ka Beasts. I carved out some runes. Makes flow of magic unstable. Disrupts mind of Ka Beast. Returns them to a wild state. Excuse me, I need to make new brutes. Thank you for information. I will use it. Hmm. So do we have an actual staff now that we can utilize? I guess we do. Uh, do we go report to Rasa Lawita? Looks like we still have to probably go to the mountain for the raiders, but at least we have a staff that can help us disrupt the control of their cobbies. So that's something. Arid Murwa did something to the staff I found. Then you may actually be capable of confronting the raiders. To do so, you need to face the labyrinth of Uachita Mountain. You need to know how to approach it. The raiders had a map of Uachita Mountain. Then you should begin the assault. It is very dangerous, perhaps impossible. The raider forces are very strong. Still, if Haven wants to command us, it is time for you to prove your worth. Any advice? You have a route into the tunnels of the raiders. You have a staff which might counter their strange magics. You must do what needs to be done. And what needs to be done? These raiders tried to kill you. Even in failure, you still looked weak before all of the Rokaj. You must root them out, destroy them. If you want to keep the respect of the Rokaj, this must be done. That's all for now, thanks. We'll do our duty. Okay. So the next is Uachita Mountain then, but... I should probably return to Fort Metal 4. Or what? Um, how about Fort Precipice? Just to get healed. The petition is not completed, so we have to do what we can here. Um, this place does not have an apothecary. So, I am going to head to Fort, Fort Metal 4. And properly do this up. Uh, let's come over here. Let's see. What did we pick up? We picked up a cold point orb, which we can't use yet. An equipoise augment. Uh, we have this. The Cobbler Trophy. 20% bleed resist, 10% crit chance. We picked up this, the Radiance Necklace, the Row Protects. That's going on. Plus three slots, so we can put... The Equipoise Augment into it. Basically making this obsolete now. Uh, we can put 20% to Blessing, and then we'll get 10% to Healing, I guess. Let's go see what we can actually do here with the Augments. Um, 10% to healing spells. Yeah, let's go Surgeon's Augment. That should be good for now. We have unlimited funds, pretty much. This is a beautiful piece. Let's put the Equipoise, 10% healing spells. Let's take out the Blessing spells from that and put that into there. Now that thing's worth 437. Very nice. Um, he has two equipoise. He has a 15% mental resist. And, oh no, that just has built in 15% mental resist. So, very good. Now this mental resist, this nullity necklace, can be better suited to maybe Matthew. No. Not really. Mental resist. Who else has one? That's the same thing. That's 20% to mental resist. 
This is 10%. So you can get this as an upgrade. Uh, Twenty percent mental resist, and we'll do some hot swapping of runes. Get rid of the seven percent healing spells. Put in um, four percent speed bonus, and put in uh, ten more percent mental resist. Making that thing worth 220. 30% <laughs> mental resist, though, and a small speed bonus. Now, this thing. Um, yeah, that's about what we want to do here. I don't see any other need for these. Oh, the Cobbler Trophy. 10% crit chance is major. And 10% bleed resist is nice, or 20%. Let's go ahead and give the Cobbler Trophy to Matthew, and I think we're going to go ahead and put this on. I know it's hard. We lose the damage. Just for crit chance. Uh, you have 10% physical evasion. 3% physical evasion. Um, I wish we could use two amulets or something. You have the rope protects. I guess we're not using that. Unless we want to just give up on the mental resist. And go bleed resist. You know what? Let's try this. Let's keep this handy in case we need it. The Nolte necklace. But let's look at her crit chance now. She's going to resist bleed uh, 40%, which is nice. Her crit chance is 15%. So an extra 10% crit, which is cool. Um, the jade neck piece can be put away. Let's see. You're full. Healing spells. Chain neck piece. Um, still don't really know what to do with these. Snaring vines. Mental resist. Healing and curing. I think it's safe to put this thing away. We're not dealing with bugs and reptiles and stuff. Well, maybe reptiles, but... Um, let's see how many slots this gives us. Three, six, eight. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we're, I could say we're done there. Let's see if there's anything to do in here. Um, okay. Let's head out. Is everybody suited and booted? Looks like we're all good to go. Let's turn that 7 into a 10%. I mean, just kind of bothering me. 3% is 3%. Is there another 7% somewhere? No. What about you? And don't we have a... Rather than one physical armor... Uh, augment... We can get her... Uh... How about a mental resist? Probably worth, I mean, that's worth more than one single physical armor. So let's pop out the one physical armor, put in the mental resist. Um, everything else is good. You 
Take that 7% heal out, replace it with the 10%. Now nah, that just looks better. As long as we have a baseline, nobody's using a plus one to armor or anything. Everything looks very good. Very steady. Still not sold on the bloodletting, how we get that to work, but everything looks very good. Cool. Let's put a few more things away. Uh, and look for last chance for any possible upgrades to make. Um... Second last steel broad blade. All right, we look good. We are decked to the nines, as they say. Let's head to Uachita Mountain and wrap up this dog and petition. There's also worm's teeth we can't handle. As you get close to Uachita Mountain, you can see the ruins of a huge stone at its base. There are many tunnel entrances around it. This peak is honeycombed with mines and caves. As you watch, Raider cook fires begin to go out. You can see tiny figures retreating into the tunnels, plus the occasional enormous cobor. Anyone who wants to hunt raiders will have to follow them into their warrens, which are doubtless full of traps and ambushes. This is where Rasa Luita sent you to prove the strength and cunning of Haven. The Rokaj is watching. You've been spotted by a raider patrol. Yeah, I'm going to not get spotted by a raider patrol. That's something we actually have to watch out for. Stick to the west here. The trees and the cacti. Okay. So somewhere over here is the entrance. You reach the end of a narrow valley just southwest of Uachita Mountain. Remembering what you learned in Fort Carriaris, you search the valley walls. Soon you find what you're looking for. It's a side valley, cunningly camouflaged with painted canvas covered with dirt. You pull it aside and find a hidden pass leading to the mountain. Nice, but what if I want to come back and go this way? What's this way? Nothing. All right, to Uachita we go to deal with the raiders. This is going to be ugly and bloody. You approach the base of Uachita Mountain, the highest peak in the Lodaga. Like most landmarks of the Rokaj, it has been settled, reworked, and abandoned by many waves of Ro, usually for war-related reasons. These jagged peaks are shot through with narrow tunnels, where countless waves of rebels, brigands, and raiders have come to hide. At the end of the valley ahead, you see the ruins of a tower. It has also been rebuilt and raised many times, though right now it, only the lowest level is sort of intact. The mountain is covered with a haze of cook fires. Fortunately, approaching along this hidden path, you have evaded their notice. At last, you have reached the fortress of the Ro Raiders, the humans and beasts who have been terrorizing the Lodaga and who tried to kill you. They are no longer running. You can confront them directly here, and you may be able to slip past the worst of their defenses. So kind of like a stealth mission, in a way. Okay, let's go in here. This looks dangerous. The Raiders have constructed a busy hideout in these crumbling chambers buried under the mountain. They are crowded with supplies, workshops, and living quarters. Supplies and equipment are crammed into every available space. They have been operating here for quite some time. Raiding parties come here to rest and be resupplied, and then they return to the low dog to cause havoc. When you get close, someone shouts an alarm. At last, they have been discovered. Now they get to be raided for a change. <laughs> 
Okay. Cronus Woodworkers. Hmm. Woodworkers. Really? This is a magical workshop. You note that much of it is dedicated to enchanting and carving wood. This is where the staffs that control the cob beasts are made. Interesting. Let's go ahead and end them up. Oh, it didn't hit the cob or... It's okay. He can't get through there. <laughs> Let's club and blub. Club and blub, shall we? Get those woodworkers out of there. Dang. So when you come up and club and bub. Hmm, they pulled Matthew up. Uh, we walk up one and end him up. So now we got the cobbler. And he's a mobile. <laughs> Runs away, but cast silence. Heals. Um, three. Four. Let's spray some stunning gas down here. Nice. Ouch. Let's club and blub. Um, I'll be right there. Get the healer. Uh... Most of them are immobile. I have an idea, but it's going to cost a lot of magic to, or energy. Let's hit them with a fireball. It's good, good cost value there for damage. Let's see. Gassy. Here comes Sonia with her gas. <laughs> Not the blades, not the stone spikes. That thing. The hurler does plenty of damage too. Um, let's see. We could afford to be buffed up here, but not too bad. Um, let's see. Taking a chance here, but there we go. doesn't get all four. But kills two of them. Okay, time for a little restorative rain. And then battle medic. Uh Dang. Let's see. Club and blub. Right there, I guess. Oh, dominated Cobor. How do we wave the staff? I did not mean to do that. I don't know how to wave the staff. Oh well. We'll have to learn though. <sighs> We're taking a lot of damage. Walk one and end it up. Let's get rid of some of these guys. When you get close to the Cobor while bearing your altered Raider Staff, it has an effect. The Cobor starts to become extremely agitated. It looks around, snarling and drooling, confused about what it's supposed to be doing. Alright, well, we disrupted it right at the end. Uh, club and blub. Okay, I'd love to do another L. Let's just restore the brain. Come up to a whirlwind, though. That still works. Uh.
Hmm. Still clubbing us. One more club and club. I should have moved him out of the way. He's running away. Heal yourself, I guess. Stop doing that. I'm getting upset. Because we didn't bless up for this battle, we... I messed it up. Try to stun here. There we go. Nice. They got here crude crystals, deep metal ore, and a fine fur. We spared no expense. Ah. Dominated Cobor. But are you dominated or are you disrupted? So need to get a turn. There we go. Nice. <clears throat> the Raiders control of the Cobor is suddenly broken. It isn't your friend now. Instead, it loses control. Starts swinging its weapons in all directions, happy to attack anyone nearby. Well, it's kind of late now. But okay. That one ran away, but it got full health. Take care of this one. Club and blub. Mm, okay, we've got to snip this in the bud here. Spram. Spram, Mason. Mm, resisted. Sonia's fine down there. She can go ahead and roll window. Ah. You can club and bub and hopefully kill one of them at least. Ah. energy back. Down here is a chest, silver coins, and a Daga tower shield. Worth a lot of money. Not that we're in dire need of money, but hmm. Can't get across there. There's a 
door. Another chest with a Rudigo vestment. That's worth money too. Four fine wines. Looks like that's everything here. F3 and move out. Um, up the steps we go. Cobor artillerist, oh dear. And a Cobor elite. Okay, um... I guess this is if you attack from the front entrance, you have to deal with him. Is what I th think, but... Go ahead and leap. Oh, I did not want to get the Cobor elite going. Stunned him, though. Do a double, double dose. <clears throat> I'm just hitting my water bottle here. I'm gonna light up another smoke. Um. Mm -mm. Go ahead and club and bub. Nice. Okay. You are at the back entrance to a ruined tower on Uachita Mountain. You can see the huge stones, fine dog and work, etched with graffiti left by many generations of travelers and soldiers. When you enter, there is silence for a moment, then loud roaring, the bestial challenges of cobors. The remaining raiders are fast and running out are fast running out of places to hide. Okay, do we come down? Can't come down here. That cardboard can do nothing. These are the ones we have to worry about. Yo! The clanless. Um. I don't know if I have to come up here and talk to them. At last, you have cornered the leader of the rebels in his lair. He is a wizard of the low daga. In his right hand, you see a staff carved with runes of an all-too-familiar design. It controls the horde of Anamas Kabors protecting him. His other hand rests against the gigantic wolf to his side. It snarls at you. He says, Quiet, Zeke. I must speak with our guests before you can eat them. He turns to look at you. He is trying to appear calm and unconcerned, the style of the rogue warrior when facing danger. Yet you can see the rage in his eyes. Welcome, Prince of Haven. I am honored that I am worth the trouble of a visit by royalty. Identify yourself, rogue. I am the one who has given and will give all to drive Haven from our lands. I... He chokes up. He looks away from you, trying to regain his composure. Who are you? I have given up my name and my clan. Until Haven is gone, I'm a nothing. Call me clanless. I built up the fortress here to strike Haven, and I... I... They are all lost. Finally, his composure breaks. He points his staff at you and screams, You destroyed them all! My warriors, my friends, my land! We will make you pay, I swear it! He struggles to regain his composure. His control over the cobors weakens. They begin to snarl and paw the floor. Finally, he croaks. I will be heard. Are you the wolf? He shakes his head. No, I am guided by the wolf, but I don't have the honor of that name. Get your pets under control. Clanless waves his staff. The cobors quiet down. Don't worry. I control them totally, even if I have the occasional lapse. You may say your piece. He grips his staff so tightly that his knuckles turn white. He looks down at the floor. My friends, all gone. Only I can speak for them. Then he looks up at you. I am the one who raised this army of rebels. I am the one who created the control staffs. I am the one who sent good warriors to die to try to kill Sutter and you. I did all this with a purpose. What was the purpose? You thought that killing the assassins I sent was a victory? It was not. Actually, it kind of was, but it doesn't seem like a good I good time for debate. It was a message to all of the Rokaj. It was a demonstration. What were you demonstrating? All empires, no matter how mighty, come to the Rokaj. They are all driven out eventually. They grow weak and fat and lazy, and we pounce. We were demonstrating that you could be surprised, be fought. 
We were showing that a free rokaj was worth dying for. Like my friends died today. Like I sent them to... To... He stops speaking and struggles to regain control. Did the wolf tell you to do this? The wolf gave me advice. Suggested how I might craft the staffs. Sent me downward. All the work after that was mine. I don't know his true name, but I will honor him. And are you happy with how your plan turned out? I don't know. I think I won't live to see the end of it. I long to join those you have slain. My work is done. The real war will be waged by the whole Rokaj. I only wish. Perhaps I thought you wouldn't come here. You really didn't think I would find you. I thought Haven didn't really care about the row. I heard you were weak and lazy. Governor Iato is a slug. We thought he would give up. It would be it would have made the next part of the wolf's plan so much easier. And yet Perhaps I don't have to die. I should be strong. Cut you down now. Then I can die when the next events come to pass. What are these events you, you so cryptically refer to? You will see. I regret I won't be there to witness it. I should join my friends. Perhaps I can convince you to join us instead. Haven can make you very wealthy. His hands are trembling. That is the way of Haven. Divide your vassals. Buy warriors. Find those who aren't loyal to the ways of their people. But I am losing my resolve. I will not collapse in front of you. I would rather die. So we will die. My brothers and sisters, we have done our part. I, who am clanless, join you at last. Boars attack. Okay. Well, the idea is to just focus mightily. Let's go ahead and haste up here. Focus entirely on the clanless. Um, let's go ahead and maybe throw a stun at him. Slowed anyway. Okay, can you maybe... Your stunning spray won't reach, but what if I walk up one more? Okay, it will reach. So let's try to maybe... Oh. That's a nice spot. Um, Sonya's active. I wonder if I could leap to him. <laughs> oh, wow. This is not going to be too easy, but... If we kill him, we may have a chance here. He's also got a fleet brute. Let's see here. Um, <clears throat> let's throw another stun at him. Slow two. Oh, I'm going to hit Sonya now with my blast. Um, let's do a poison vapors on you. Poison everyone in the area. One was disrupted. Whose turn? Matthew. We may kill him before he even has a turn. One more shot. Zeke. Um, let's throw a bleed his way. Dead. Clanless collapses to the ground, mortally wounded. When he falls, the staff hits the stone floor and breaks. He smiles weakly. My magic is lost. Appropriate. He looks up at the ceiling. My warriors, I join you. I sent you to no fate. I didn't accept myself. I might be able to save your life, but you will have to help Haven. He smiles. No, I will not fail. It is my time, and I can see our victory coming. Haven must still face us on. On. And then he dies. The power of the raiders has been broken. Yet yeah, we still have to kill a bunch of freaking raiders. We're a window. Sony's going to try to kill three at once if she can. Don't know how that's going to work. 
so far away from us over here. Um, well, let's go ahead and weapon poison. Might as well use everything we have here. I don't know, because I'm going to probably want to go back through the fort backwards and try to get any weapon, any items there were. Oh, no. Like, I might want to head backwards to where these artillerists are. I don't know. But let's go ahead and heal you. This is not going to be easy. They're disrupted and probably going to attack each other, okay? Let's still throw, um... A bonk bonk. Let's get a better view of the battlefield. Uh... Huh. Guess we can do that. Ruin Durs. Let's get in there and ruin. I could also try a, a scream. Poison vapor seems to be a good good move. Um, let's clonk and bonk here. Zothis. Um, perhaps the team heal wouldn't be out of order here. Wow, everybody's attacking everybody. It's a big melee. Sonia, we're a window. Oh, I should have drank a potion. Oops. Can I reach you with a heal, perhaps? Dang. Enemy slowed and ensnared. Uh, Mason. Enemy slows. Dang. Uh, if Sonya dies, we're kind of in some trouble. So we've got to help her out as much as we can. Fireball wouldn't be out of line here. Like right there, I guess. Energy conserved. Don't kill Sonya. Nice. Perfect. Thank you. It's still going to be rough, though. All right, you club and blub right here. You go ahead and... Um, how about another fireball up here? Oh, dang, Zeke's got some fire breath. So, yeah, good, good, good. Um, use a potion. And then it's him. Oh, it's, that one's charmed by who? Then it's him to uh, stun it. Hmm? You can't attack friendly. Oh, okay, so can I walk over this way? Ah, what am I doing? Uh, club and blub here. They're almost dead over on this side. One second, guys. Okay, we're back. All right, so um, this is Zothis. He has no energy left. Uh, he can weapon poison too. Well, no, we'll save that. It's not necessary. Look how poison they are and stuff. And. <laughs> Um, you're charmed. 
You're gonna die from poison. Uh, let's move up one and. Leave the charmed ones for now. We have to kill this fleet brute. Uh, kill. You're no longer charmed, so you guys can die with a clunk and bonk. Nice double of two tough enemies. Starting to clear the board here. Sony and everybody did very well all over the board. Um, still got some energy left to take on more of the tower if we, or more of the area if we need to. Um, save your energy now, really. The weapon poison get into everybody. Yeah, see, uh, whirlwind, I guess. All right, that one dies. Kavi's going down, down, down. All right, are we? We can't end combat. We still have to take care of these ones. Okay. Disrupted and charmed. Can we F now? We can't F. Uh, well, we can only kill the disrupted ones. It's two, switch weapon, and stun. Very fun battle. Space out before this one becomes uncharmed. Two, three, die. Now we gotta kill this one, who's no longer charmed. Um, oh, I can't really get him too well. There we go. Can I hit him maybe? No. Uh, try to stun. There we go. Now we can just waste them with regular attacks. Very successful fight. Very good progress made. There we are. Let's get some energy back. A lot of energy. Well, not much, actually. Um... So I'm going to save here, and where we go next is a mystery. We will go through that door. We will head back maybe through. I don't know if we'll head back through, but we'll see. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Hope you enjoyed. We took care of the raiders. This will have big consequences throughout the row, and we're heading all signs pointing to the High Litha soon. So hope you continue to join me. Lots more to come. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to go eat supper. Much love, peace, and joy. Catch you next time with much more to come. Bye-bye.